You do it all without breaking a sweat, and you do it all in style. From being a boss exec to the Tuesday yoga to the kids' homework, family dinners, lunches, brunches, trips to the vet, and a weekend getaway that's anything but a getaway. That's why Infinity fully reimagined the QX60 to help you conquer it all with ease. Even when you have back-to-back conference calls on top of kids' basketball practices, not to mention your side hustle. A luxury SUV as functional as it is stylish and as versatile as it is serene. Available features like seating for up to seven passengers, a suite of active safety features, and massaging front seats. Introducing the all-new Infiniti QX60, designed to help you conquer life in style. Legal. Now with extremely limited availability, contact your local retailer for inventory information. So things have been crazy. Back-to-back conferences, canceled flights, family, home, work, all the things. So I'm giving you another classic episode. This one dropped back in 2022. If you've been listening for a while recently, especially this last year, you hear her promo. So now you get to find out more about Yvonne Hernandez. And next week, we're going to have brand new episodes as we revisit our yearly check-in to see how artists, BIPOC, disabled, LGBTQIA+, are faring in today's climate with institutions and beyond. So that's going to be dropping next week. And then I think we're going to have a break for the summer, but I'll be re-releasing classic episodes so you get to know all the peeps. So yeah, I give you this episode. Where's Your Mama? is a podcast about the life of a Latinx mama. That, that is me and the lives of my amazing multicultural tribe. A celebration of shared experiences navigating this dynamic world, there will be special guests, mad laughs, and absolutely no BS. Nah, B is our motto. Segments by the supernatural bear, that's my son, he's nine, going on 49. Other than that, this podcast will be explicit. Please believe it. Today we have an amazing human being, She's my amiga. She's my inspired action tribe, Edmana. She's changing lives. One, as she calls them, future world changer at a time. Yvonne is amazing. She's going to be talking about her roots on where her mission started to you have a have a goal of teaching meditation to one million kids with her um, recently trademarked company Decide Balance. You'll see how long that process is, how that's big news, big news. How, you know, being an Inspired Action Tribe uh, group coaching led by the amazing Wendy Amada is, has impacted her personal and professional growth. And also, she's going to go a little bit more into depth of her first virtual summit, the Latina Moms Mindfulness Virtual Summit, and so much more. So if you're um, a longtime listener of Word to Your Mama, and especially if you know me and we're friends, we're family, we're associates, I I think you have a sense that I don't, um, I say it in the episode, I don't, I can't fake the funk. And I am proud to be a sponsor for her event. It's because I believe in her. I know her. I know her intentions. I know all this will help. I know some of the the speakers that uh, that are going to be sharing their knowledge at the summit. So please believe it. You know I wouldn't be a sponsor if I didn't believe in this. So yes, let's get into it. Oh, and don't forget. After that, that part is going to be the supernatural bear. And because he's also a customer, uh, a client of her services, I'm just going to let him say what he's going to say. And and we'll see if, if he truly does love her services, love her. He calls her Miss Yvonne and uh, let, let him speak for himself. All right. Let's really get into it. Sweet. He's like, uh, could I say hi to Miss Yvonne? I was like, if there's time, if there's time. Que lindo. <laughs> <laughs> He's super excited. Super cute. Yvonne, thank you so much for being here. It's great to see your face. 
not everyone's going to be able to see your face, but I get to see it. So that's a pleasure. Um, I wanted to start off. How are you doing? Como estas? Fantastic. Overjoyed. Thrilled. I mean, first of all, I get to be on one of your episodes, which I love. I love your voice. When I listen to your episodes, it's like, she's got the best voice. I love hearing oh your God. voice. It's so fun. And you're so funny, so real. Aww. And it's like, yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> you're making me blush. That's that's crazy. Thank you so much. Because we'll get into it, but I think you have an amazing voice and people are going to find out what you do and how I found out you have an amazing voice for exactly what you do. So, okay, thank you so much for that. But how, like, you're good, you're everything, you're super excited. Um, I wanted to kind of start off with the basics, right? Because every, like, if they know you, they know your mission and everything. But let, let, let's take it back. Uh, where are you born and raised? Texas, I'm a Tejana, born and Ooh. raised. My parents are from Mexico, so... For a long time, I considered myself Mexican-American. Well, first mm. Mexicana, right? Because that's all I knew on the border right. of Texas <laughs> and a border girl. And so everyone was Spanish-speaking. And then I went off to college. I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow. Okay. So then, like, meeting new friends from, like, from different um, areas, you know, Puerto Rico and um, El Salvador and just, like, mm. from everywhere, right? It's like, and I'm like, Oh my gosh, like I felt like just by saying Mexican American, I feel like I'm leaving, you know, my friends out or like uh, like deep rooted, like I felt like I'm more than just Mexicana, right? Like just yeah. Mexican American. So then I started calling myself Latina because I felt like, well, I'm I know there's more to me. And I still hadn't even done my DNA, you know, stuff, <laughs> right? But it's like I just knew, right? Like this deep feeling of like I'm I'm more, you know, than just Mexicana. Though I you know, anyway. <laughs> 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 no, I I totally get it. I totally get it. Like you open your horizons and you saw like wow, like I'm a I'm of like I'm a like how I feel. I'm I'm part of something bigger. You know, like La, Latinidad, like the whole the whole shebang. Um so why don't we tell the folks uh what is decide balance? Wow. So decide balance to me, what it means, because, you know, you hear people is like, oh, work life balance, blah, 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 or there's no <laughs> such thing. And I'm like, it's not that it's about deciding this balance inside of you, tapping into that inner calm, into that inner peace. And it just started evolving. Um, and so and I also wanted a name that was bilingual because mm. that's who I am. And, you know, I'll do my meditations in you know, in English and in Spanish and and so I wanted it for for the name to be easily translated, you know, or for someone who, who doesn't speak English to be able to find me and, and say the name. So that was important to me. And it, and it just came up. It was just one of those names. I just like, oh, that's the name. Yeah. Decide balance. Decide balance. And but, it, it. you know, things started aligning. It's like, yeah, it's about inside of you. And then, you know, going through this healing journey and it's like me finding that balance inside of me. Sure, you know, our world is chaotic and everything is around, but I'm choosing to tap into that calm, into that inner balance inside of me because I don't have that's I can I can control that. I can't control what's around me. You exactly. Know? Exactly. And so tell people what the root like what your mission is. What decide balance, they see the balancia is like their mission, your mission. So my mission, my main mission right now is to teach meditation to one million children. Yeah. And so decide balance is a space to bring families, all families, mainly children, you know, to come together to to give them resources, give them tools. Because I wasn't raised with any of these tools. Right. I wish I did. Mm -hmm. If I would have learned about meditation, about energy work, about breath work, about mirror work, about affirmations, like all of this stuff, right? That would have helped me tremendously. Yeah. And now it's like, well, I didn't and my parents didn't know. So they do what they could, you know, with what they had. But now that I know these tools, now I can teach others. Yes. Yes, that's very important. It was one thing that we talk about here all the time is mental health, right? Especially for our communities to normalize and destigmatize mental health. Because it's part of, you know, we all know, and hopefully more people are starting to know, it's part of our overall health. You can't be, you know, 10% or less body fat and be like cut and everything like that. And not their mentals not be 
at a decent place. And I feel like meditation is something, a tool and a skill. So, you know, my, you know, the supernatural bear, he'll talk about his own experience, but he takes your um, kids meditation class every week and it's bilingual and it's amazing and he loves it. So just to, I remember you sent out, you know, uh, if you, you have all the links to all her stuff, but if you go to her site, there's like, you get a little sample. Like she's so generous with what she's trying to do. And she sends a little sample and it's in English and Spanish. And so that's how we got the first taste of you and what Decide Balance is all about. And then that's when the Supernatural Barrel's like, is this something you want to do, mijo? He's like, yeah, I want to do that. Because he he knows now, We, we ha- like you said, we have the tools now that we didn't have when we were growing up and we want to instill that in our children. So if you have kids, if you're at a school, um, if you have a group, please make sure to look into this and 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 give this as a gift, give this as a, a as a tool um, for your kids because a supernatural bear loves it. And now I want to get into how do we know each other? <laughs> how do we meet? Break it down, Yvonne. Break it oh, down. Oh man, it was it's been the best experience ever. So we met through our coach, through yeah. Wendy Amara. And it's just been such a beautiful community, very supportive community. And we both started right around the same time. And so going through this journey together, we're up leveling, girl. Like yeah. we're both like making strides, right? And it's because we have this community because we can't do it alone. I tried doing it by myself and <laughs> trying to reach these goals. I'm like, oh, I no puedo. I just can't, right? <laughs> and so having, you know, you and all the other jefas in this beautiful community, it's like, oh my gosh, Wendy this such a brilliant idea and her guidance and everything has been huge for me, for my, you know, for my up leveling, you know, I'm I'm, like the the things, the goals that I'm reaching has been incredible. Like sometimes I have to take a step back and be like, holy smokes, I've done all of this. (laughs) That's amazing. And like, and acknowledge myself. It's like, I'm doing the work. I'm doing mm-hmm. the work. And I, I couldn't have done it by myself because I tried for years and mm-hmm. I was going nowhere. <laughs> yes. So Shout yes. out to Wendy. Wendy Amara. She, we're part of Inspired Action, uh, Inspired Action Tribe. And with this, we you and I are in our second session. It's a six-month commitment. And it's been life-changing. And uh, I went in thinking, like, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to go in and go out. But I didn't realize the nice, beautiful surprise of community. And if you, especially if you're a solopreneur or you're, you know, you're starting your business or you've been in your business and you've just been in a rut, you don't have that accountability. But to be around amazing, dope women such as yourself and our tribe, shout out Wednesday tribe uh, cohort, um, you know, it, it's been super empowering. And just to let you know, to witness everyone's journey, especially those that start, you start, you, I think you and Jessica started like a, like a week or something, maybe before, right before me, to see what you were putting out there, Yvonne, and manifesting at the beginning, right? So almost a year ago, almost, we're almost there. But to see your growth from like, I want to do this, this is my goal, this is da 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 da, da and seeing the mind shifts, and to see what you're doing now. I mean, can we just do a round of applause? Felicidades, congratulations. Who got their shit trademarked? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. Who it's, got their it's shit insane. trademarked? That's you, girl. That's you. How? Tell the people, it's a long ass process. Tell the people how long it took. A year. It was about a year and a month or a year. And oh my gosh, yes. It was definitely over a year. But and and I had some help guided, you know, by another amazing amiga, and I could not have done that by myself because all this legal, you know, stuff that's like, oh, it goes over my head, and you know, you don't want to mess that up. So of course, yeah. you know, I had some support, and um, so I recommend that for anyone who's you know going to trademark their name, get someone. And um, yeah, my my friend uh, Taylor from Legal Amiga, she guided me through the whole process. And she's like, girl, I got you, and yeah. it was beautiful, and I felt comfortable and. <laughs> Here we are. My name, Decide Balance, is now a trademark name. 
and it now goes with a beautiful logo, which you helped me to design <laughs> and oh, it's so gorgeous. I love it. I mean, just everything is aligning so beautifully in this in this journey. Yeah, it's amazing. There's a TM on that name now, girl. Like it's official. And 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 for me, working with you, collaborating uh, with you on this was is an honor because it's beyond what I do with a, a client. I just kind of know surface level what what their goal is and what they're trying to communicate. But with you, I was a like I know the journey. I know what you put in. I know your mission. I know you know we 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 you know, get the classes, we pay for the classes, like it, we're all in and we believe in you. We, I, you're an amazing human being. So it's just, it was an honor for me to collaborate with you on, you know, you know, this rebrand and everything, but I, I'm super excited for you. Um, the energy is fucking palpable. I love it. But I wanted to, you know, let the people know, you know, what decide balance is, where you're at now, what your mission is. But I want to go back now and see what was the moment in time where you could say, oh, that's my root, meaning, oh, that's my goal. I want to have, you know, I want to teach a one million children meditation. Like, I want to share that gift. Like, where, where did that happen? And you're like, get us all. Like, what, what happened to get you there? So a long time ago, well, at one point, I was a mother of three under five years old, Ooh. three kiddos under five years old. So, you know, I didn't sleep very much. <laughs> I was running on a fumes, you know, my cup, you know, serving from an empty cup. I didn't even know what fill your cup meant at that point. Right. <laughs> like I didn't even know any of that stuff. So and and uh, but I heard this beautiful quote by the Dalai Lama where he says, if every eight year old in the world is taught meditation, we will eliminate violence within one generation. Mm. And that touched me so deep because I'm, I'm, I don't understand why we have wars, violence, hate, right? Yeah. I don't want that for my children. Oh my gosh, it's choking me up. I don't want that of for course. my children, for any child, for any human, for mm -hmm. anyone, right? It's, t it's the worst thing. How does someone get to that point? So that seed was planted. Years forward, I started um, doing meditation in my kids' classrooms because they were going through a big transition. And I approached the teacher, asked, hey, can I come in and do a meditation? She said, definitely come in every Friday. And so I started helping every Friday morning, which was their test day. And it really helped them out. It was so beautiful just to see how quickly they were like, yes, we're ready. As soon as I walked in, they were all putting their stuff away and they were ready to participate. <laughs> so cute. Miss Yvonne is here. I'm like, awesome. <laughs> and and then a, a couple months later, one of the mom asked me, are you the mom teaching the meditation? I said, yes. She's like, thank you so much. My daughter, this is third grade. Okay. My daughter suffers from test anxiety. Mm -hmm. And ever since you've been going, she's doing a lot better and she feels better during test days. I'm like, Aww. wow, wait, third graders have test anxiety. That's like high school, college stuff. Yeah. But this is real. And I'm like, wow, like these kids need tools. They need ugh, so much more. Right. So I wasn't just helping my kids and, you know, my, my son and, and, and the kids in the classroom. It was like more than that. Like I wanted to do more. And so I would always post, oh, I'm doing this meditation and I'm guiding them through this. And today we were da, 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 whatever. And I had a really good friend ask me, she said, what is this meditation thing that you're doing? Do you no longer believe in God? Ooh. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I believe in God. I'm like, meditation has nothing to do about changing a religion or a religion or no, it's about tapping into that inner peace, that inner calm. I'm like Jesus meditated. Like, I don't understand what the question is, but it definitely opened up my, my, my eyes, my awareness. It's like, wow, like parents might actually be thinking the same thing. Like, I don't want Miss Yvonne to change my child's religion. Mm. And you know how parents could be. Please so I decided to be transparent. So then that's where the Decide Balance podcast idea came from. You know, I started doing this and I kept doing the meditations at school. And then during the pandemic, you know, when the, te when the student is ready, the teacher shows up. Mm -hmm. So the Chopra Center came into my life, the Deepak Chopra Center. Nice. And I learned that they have a meditation teaching certification program. And I learned this through the Wheel Grow Amigas platform. They had this free workshop. And I'm like, oh, 
wait, what? You can get certified to teach meditation? I've been doing meditations for the kids, but without any training or anything Mm. behind my back, right? I'm like, this is perfect. This is exactly what I need to do. I went through the program, such a beautiful experience. On right after I graduated, I received this message. I'm going to teach meditation to 1 million children. And I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Like it connected to the quote I had heard before. Now I have, you know, the Chopra Center, you know, you know, the training and also learning that Dr. Chopra references that quote a lot in his Mm -hmm. speeches. And I'm like, this is so beautiful. Everything started aligning. So his mission is also world peace. He's trying to get a billion people to meditate around the world. And, you know, every now and then we ask ourselves, like, why am I here? What Mm -hmm. is my purpose in life? How can I help humanity? Well, at least that was my those are my questions. Right. And it, 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 everything came clear. That's what I'm going to do. Everything lined up perfectly. That's who I'm going to focus on. I'm going to focus on the future world changers. That's what mm-hmm. I call them because they are, they're going to change the world. And so I am planting seeds of world peace through these children that I'm, I'm teaching virtually and in person through families, through groups, through organizations, through schools. So that's where, where it all came that's amazing. From. That's beautiful. It's I say this all the time. Signs, symbols, and clues, right? It it all aligned. Like you've got this quote, then you got the certification. Oh, turns out he uses this quote. It was like the universe was make lining everything, right? And and one thing that was really important that you spoke of. I mean, we're still in a pandemic, but we've been in it for a long time. Meditation helped the supernatural bell tremendously. And I know it helped a lot of kids during this time because they didn't understand. We barely had the tools as adults. The kids are barely forming, you know, and understanding the world around them. So when they're not uh, allowed to be out in the world to discover, it was anxiety, you know, and, and it also depended on how much information you were, you know, how transparent you were and what kind of information they were privy to. And I know from our own experience, there was a point where it was getting to the supernatural bear. And I was like, how, how can I help him? You know, he wasn't sleeping well. Something happened where we got Zoom hacked, you know, through for his uh, yoga class. And that was it was scary for me. And so meditation helped him significantly for sleep, right? So specific, it was a specific one for sleep. But then when you came along, this is like, he does it on a Thursday at 430. It's something that he can learn to do whenever, before a test, you know, throughout the day, during the week, daytime, nighttime, it doesn't matter. It's powerful skills that he's going to, it's going to just be everyday life for him, right? So thank you so much, Yvonne, for what you've, shared for the gifts that you shared with so many people because i know the impact that you've had just on our family so thank you so much so now you've expanded you've you know your your mission is there let's tell the folks if they're listening to this when it drops then this is the week of something big and please tell the folks what you're doing what's coming up on the pipeline for you ¿Alguna vez ha estado listo para sentarte y disfrutar de la televisión y luego te das cuenta que no sabes lo que quieres ver o incluso dónde empezar a buscar opciones? Cox Contour TV te facilita esa decisión con el entretenimiento que amas, todo en el mismo lugar. Mira televisión en vivo, programas en demanda, grabaciones de DVR y música. Todo con el sonido de tu voz con el control remoto de Voz Contour. No solo encuentra los programas que estás buscando, sino que también brinda recomendaciones de romance, aventura o simplemente películas y disfruta. Si eres fanático de los deportes, captura la acción de golf y baloncesto que has estado esperando y obtendrás los puntajes, estadísticas y resúmenes en tiempo real en la aplicación Contour Sports. Y si te gusta la transmisión, solo dilo para que lo veas en tus aplicaciones de suscripción favoritas como Hulu, Paramount Plus, Disney Plus y más con Contour Stream Player. Obtén más información en cox.com barra contour. 
COVID-19 moves fast, and now you can too. If you feel symptoms, even if they're mild, you should test fast. Test positive and at high risk for severe COVID-19? Then act fast with authorized oral treatments that can be taken at home and must be taken within five days from when symptoms begin. COVID-19 moves fast, and now you can too by asking your healthcare provider if an oral treatment is right for you. Learn about a treatment option at TreatCV19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. So I am going to be hosting a virtual summit. It's called the Latina Moms Mindfulness Summit. And it is, wow, like the jefas that are speaking, it's an incredible powerhouse of lineup. Honored and blessed that everybody said yes to this beautiful collaboration. And it was everyone's handpicked. And it was just like everyone started coming into my radar, right? It's like, ooh, this person. Yes. And I would see something or I would hear someone. And it's like, that's who I need to ask. I asked. They said yes. And I'm like, wow. So this like whole summit like manifested. And got to give a shout out to my friend, Maria Lupe, powerhouse diva, who... So it came, just approached me. She's like, I love your mission. I want to do a summit around it. I'm like, oh, okay, what do I need to do? And she presented this gorgeous presentation timeline and everything. And I'm like, wow, it, it was beautiful. And I'm like, all right, let's do this. And so everything just started coming together. And um, so now it's happening May 18th through the 21st. And it's, it's, it's a free summit. It's, and also something that I want to point out is that this is not just for moms, not just right. for Latinas. Really, right. this is for everyone because everything that everyone is talking about, the tools, the advice, everything is stuff that I wish I learned 20 years ago, Please believe maybe it. earlier. So right. I'm dedicating this summit to me 20 years ago right? because man, it would have really changed my life. Well, I wouldn't be here <laughs> if I did, right? <laughs> but wow, like things would have been a lot different and, you know, and less struggling mental health wise, like so many things. Right. And so these tools are for everybody. So don't let the name, you know, t you know, <laughs> steer you away because really it is for everyone and it's a free summit. And if you decide to invest in yourself, which I really recommend, it's, it's yes. not an expense. It's not like, can I afford it? No, no, no. And that's part of a mindset you know, shift that we need to do, especially within our community is like, exactly. oh, no tengo, I can't afford it. No, 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 no. When you invest in yourself, it changes your world mm -hmm. for better mm -hmm. and it overflows to your family. I've right. seen it. it. It's just incredible. I, I'm because I decided to invest in myself and all the different things that I've been doing and coaching and trainings and classes and courses and so many things. I'm getting my money back like pff, a hundredfold. Please believe. Instead it. of buying a pair of shoes that cost me like whatever, right? It's like, that's it. They're done, right? right? I don't get anything back. But when you invest in yourself, it's like, wow, you're going to get so much back. And the beautiful thing about this summit is that all the speakers have donated something, contributed something beautiful um, a course, a, a workshop, a, some downloadable, a guide, something amazing you know, a value. And then we also have some Latina entrepreneurs who have also contributed some amazing goodies, you yourself as well. <laughs> and the total bundle, like right now, I haven't seen the final number yet because we haven't finished calculating everything, but the total, val the so far subtotal is over $3,500 value wow. for everything that you're getting. And this is just for $97 investment. Come on. It's Come like, on. it's, it's no a no brainer. brainer. No brainer. Yeah. Come on. So, <laughs> and thank you as well. I, I need to give you a shout out as well for being a sponsor for this beautiful event. Oh, and it's, it's, it's unreal. I, I can't believe it. it's finally happening, you know, from this idea that came, you know, that was presented to me in, in December and now it's here, it's happening. And I get it's, to share this with the world. It's amazing. I'm, I'm so excited for you. I'm also excited to, um, you know, witness it and and, and take it is all virtual kids. So you it, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. It's virtual. Um, and like you said, she, you know, it's free, but you can level up to for only $97 to get all these different things and access to a bunch of different things. Um, but I'm excited. I mean, let's talk about like a, maybe name off like a two or three of the people that you have that are speaking and sharing and dropping gems with the with with the women. 
Oh my gosh, todas. It's like learning about parenting, about, you know, ending chancla culture, which is like, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, like that was huge, right? Um, rest, you know, receiving that rest, being okay with rest, about intuition. How, how does that work? How does that even begin? I didn't even know what intuition was years ago, right? <laughs> and now like connecting to it about money, mindfulness. It's like, what? Huge, I mean, and it, it, we go deep. It's not just like, oh yeah, savings and your bank. And no, we go deep. And, um, oh my gosh, being a a mom entrepreneur, right? Like having a, you know, intuitive income streams mindset. Uh, There's going to be a sound bath as well. I can't wait. I can't wait. (laughs) Oh my goodness. About, you know, parenting and uh, consent and boundaries and saying no. And Dios mio, I mean, oh my gosh, so many just amazing, amazing topics that, all of them are amazing. And, you know, even if you're not ready to, you know, invest in that moment, you get the recording for 72 hours so you can view it at your own time. It, it, it does start from 10 a.m. to 12 noon Pacific time. And then you can, you know, just watch it anytime within the 72 hours. And then you can decide to invest once you see, I mean, you're going to want, you're going to invest. I know exactly. because exactly. it's so good. And the stuff that they're offering, it's like, oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, because you know, you're going to, you're going to be able to invest and have this library of resources, right? Mm -hmm. Because you, you take it in and, 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 you know, only a few things stick, but if you have time to be able to, the opportunity to, to go back and continue to watch the different videos, because so many gems are going to be dropped. You're not going to be able to pick them all up. So you can go and watch at your leisure to, you know, to be like, oh, and then take notes. I mean, that's, that's what we, that's what we do. when we have that opportunity. It's a rare opportunity, Mm -hmm. but also when you, there's there's summits like this around, but not exactly like this. When you something changes, and I think you and I can agree, we're in this group coaching thing, right? And we see each other almost every week, and uh, you know each month. There's something different. There's a a, a sense of uh, of safety, uh, a place where you can be vulnerable because it's people that look like you that have similar backgrounds similar histories so when when you see people that you can relate to on multiple different levels they're gonna know they're gonna come at every subject from another angle that might not be covered at other summits like you were saying you go deep on everything you guys that the women that you have the heifers that you have on they go deep but like say for example the money thing I'm sure it's going to go into how we were raised. What are, what was our money? You know, what kind of money discussions did we have? Were we coming from scarcity, just plain survival, being immigrants, being children of immigrants? I mean, it's, it's going to the root of just not, Mm -hmm. here's the skills. It's like, well, let's change. Let's go back and let's change how we think about shit so that we can move and make moves. So that is amazing. I'm going to have a link to all of this so you can sign up for free or, like we said, you're going to invest and go to that next level. And um, it's going to be amazing to watch this be super successful and um, see you shine, Yvonne. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So now let's get into questions and comments from the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm curious. <laughs> I would ask her, what has been some of the things she learned building this summit? And please let her know that everyone at Inspired Action Tribe is so proud of her. And how does she manage it all? Manage it all? This is from our amazing coach, one of the speakers at the summit, Wendy Amara. Yay. I love her and I adore her. Let's see. Something that I've learned, it's um, don't, be afraid to, don't be afraid to ask. Mm. Ask that question. I know I was nervous. You know, some speakers, it's like, I don't know. They have a huge following. I don't know if they'll be able to say yes or make time for me, you know, da, da, da. And I'm like, I just need to step out of that that mindset, like shift my mindset and just go for it. I'm like, what's the worst thing? Like, no, and move (laughs) on, right? Yeah. So, (laughs) I mean, that was definitely, you know, a little challenging sometimes. And, um, but it happened. I used my voice and... You know, I asked and things started happening because 
I, I believed in in this product. Yeah. And I know it's needed. I know it's helped me tremendously. So I know it's going to help so, 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 so many. Amazing. Okay. Next question. I was thinking, has she had any pushback about teaching meditation uh, meditation conflicting with religious affiliation. You kind of touched upon that. So her question is, how do you reconcile concerns about God, uh, you know, a Christian God and meditation? And that's by one of our amazing tribe members, jo uh, Joan. I mean, I'm going to mess up her name, last name. Zalea. Yay. <laughs> oh, I love her. Let's see. Well, it, it the, not recently. Uh, regarding religion, it was mainly, you know, my friend who asked me like, Hey, do you no longer believe in God? And so, and so now instead, instead of letting people ask me that, I just say, Hey, you know what, when I pray, I am speaking to God. And when I meditate, I'm listening because usually we're just like, please, please, please help me with this. And please, please, please. Right. And then you're like, boom, out the door. And you don't stop to hear the message he has for you. I'm like, how about if you like, listen, and then he's going to tell you, what you need to know to help you with that problem that you have or whatever it is that you're asking for, right? It's like, we need to stop. So that's how I would address it. I'm trying to stop people and, you know, before they even get to that point, it's like, <laughs> look, I'm being transparent. This is for everybody. And it's not about religion. It's about tapping into that inner calm, especially right now with what, everything that we're going through. Like yeah. we're all trying to find that calm, that peace in this chaotic world that we live in currently. Yeah. Okay, the next question. What meditation or wellness practices have been the most useful to you as a mom? And what practices have been the most useful to you in business? This is by another one of our amazing tribe members, Jessica Cable. Oh, I love her. And she's helped me out tremendously too. Shout out to her for helping me with with the writing for the summit too, because there were some things that I, I, I wanted to say some things. I'm like, girl, help me reword this and <laughs> put your magic into it. So shout out to her. So for me, meditating in silence has been huge, such a game changer for everything, for my up leveling. And, and that's what I learned. And, and that was the main meditation practice that I learned during my certification process, like how to meditate in silence, which a lot of people are scared of because they're like, I can't be in silence. I have to do this. Like, <laughs> but once you learn like how and the tools and everything, it's like, oh my goodness, this is like the next level. It's like, yeah, seriously, the next level of your wellness, your meditation practice. And another tool, another practice that I really love is uh, mirror work. That was a game changer for me, especially, I mean, just as a mom, right? Like not feeling worthy, feeling just depleted, feeling, and I had, I needed to have that conversation with myself mm. and remind myself, like, I love you. Mm. You're a badass. You're a chingona. Like you're doing amazing work. And, and I had to, you know, practice talking to myself and maybe some people think like, oh my gosh, talk to yourself. That's probably weird, but <laughs> no, really like having that you know, love for yourself yeah. is huge. And it's something that I didn't even learn. And once I learned, I'm like, wow, like this is amazing. And, you know, and now I, I celebrate things, you know, on an, a bigger scale and, you know, um, or level. And yeah, just mirror work has been huge. Tapping, I love, actually tapping is also one of the sessions and we, we do a tapping session during the summit oh, as well. Nice. And tapping has been huge as well for me. I mean, breath work has been powerful when you do like the just a breathwork session on its own it's powerful gosh so many things but those are the the main th I've done so many things but yeah. those are the main things that have helped me amazing okay so now let's go into the not so rapid fire questions the aka slow as hell questions are you ready lista three words to describe yourself <sighs> right now i feel powerful mm. I feel I have so many words um I feel in abundance I know that's not about me but like I feel in this in this abundance mindset mm -hmm. 
So that's the word that's coming up for me, even though that's not about me. <laughs> I mean, but I guess it is me. I'm yeah. like, I'm owning it. <laughs> yeah. I'm stepping into that. Exactly. You know, I'm, I'm stepping into my power, which is something I, I didn't understand before. And I'm like, wow, like this is super cool. Yeah. And um, chill. Yeah. I think chill too. <laughs> even though like I'm like zoom, zoom, zoom sometimes, but really like I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty chill gal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have a, a calm energy. Like yeah. even if you're stressed, if you, even if you come in, you know, w with some type of stress or some type of concerns, it's always like a calming vibe, you know, like there's a calming undercurrent or something like that. Okay. Next one. What's the best piece of advice you've received? Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's okay to rest. Yeah. It's okay to take a nap. Yeah. It's okay to, yeah. And even, you know, as a mom, we feel so guilty for taking that time for ourselves. Man, that was it. so hard. So, so hard. Um, and it tears me up because I think that was like one of the biggest hurdles, right? Like we want to give, 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 give to our kids and yeah. to our spouses, to our partners, to our families, to everyone, right? And we forget about ourselves and yeah. we don't rest and resting is something that I needed. And so now I feel like I'm resting for myself. I'm resting for my ancestors who couldn't rest Please believe it. for whatever reason and for future generations. Yeah, that's big. That's huge. I think for me that that is a game changer too, you know, and it's a practice, right? Because that, that mama guilt, <laughs> that, that mama guilt, the, you know, being, Latinx, Latina guilt, the the residuals of Catholicism guilt, like all that shit. It creeps up. And I haven't been to church since I was a kid. It's like guilt is huge. I still feel it. And it's like you said, we have to remind ourselves and each other. We need rest. We deserve rest. Like you said, we're resting for ourselves, our ancestors, and our families and future generations. And that's a big, that, that's a lot on our shoulders. So let's take care of ourselves so we can move forward. Next question. Song, what is your go-to song to get you hype when you need it? Carnaval, Celia Cruz. Yeah, I love that song. Oh, I love that song. <laughs> Love it. And as always, we have a link that's going to be added to the Word to Your Mama guest hype song playlist on Spotify. We'll have a link to that. So now we have, you know, the the late, great Celia Cruz on there to give us that vibes. Amazing. One thing I do regret is I never got to see her live before she passed. Oh, that would have been mm. that would have been next level. OK, last question. And in a very important one, but I think we got a sense of what your legacy will be from this conversation. What will be your legacy? I feel like it's around world peace. Mm. Um, yeah, planting seeds of world peace. It's like, you know, paving this path for, I mean, especially within, you know, our BIPOC community who don't have these tools, who are not resting and it's like, wow, like if we can do things from a place of love, from a place of calm, a place of peace, that beautiful inner peace, because that's where world peace begins. It begins inside of us. Yeah. And, and we choose, right? Because we're not born with hate. We learn it. Yeah. So can we continue learning love and peace and compassion and empathy and all these beautiful high vibe, you know, <laughs> emotions and feelings and everything, right? And like, and remove all that negativity in this world we don't need it 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 doesn't serve anyone you know yeah. so i feel like that's what i'm doing i'm planting seeds of world peace with the future world changers because i mean going back to the quote if every year old dalai lama's quote if every year old in the world is taught meditation we will eliminate violence within one generation our kids are in that age range yeah they will bring world peace i'm convinced like my kids our kids they're going to witness world peace. Mm. It's totally possible. I mean, one generation is what, 20, 25 years? Totally doable. You know, like our generation has definitely not done a good job. <laughs> not, I mean, not saying that all of us, right? But, you know, there are, you know, us who are trying to do better and we're helping, you know, the future world changers to 
not go down the same path that our generation and past, like all that, you know, trash that they've <laughs> added, you know, it's like, <laughs> they, unfortunately, they, have, they need to clean it up. But, you know, we're trying by giving them tools and resources to make this world better, which is what we want. I mean, can you imagine if, you know, these quote leaders, you know, had the tools to to learn how to breathe, how to take a big breath in, how to just be calm, you know, just sit for a moment and like really have this beautiful awareness and be in the present moment. We would, this, these wars would not be happening, you know, around the world. We would yeah. have been, you know, these lives would have been saved. Children's lives would have been saved. Yeah. And also, you know, thank you so much. The work that you're doing has, you know, a, 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 a broader scope. But just on the on the micro level, one, two kids, just just the reach of like one, two, three, four, five, five kids, that impact from that one child, you're breaking generational trauma, right? You're breaking the mm -hmm. cycle. And then that person, that child is going to go on to hopefully have healthy, you know, relationships and that impacts that person and their family. I mean like do you know what I'm saying the impact is great whether your your mission is like I just want to be able to teach 10 kids meditation skills do you know what I'm saying the 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 impact I just want you to really remember that Yvonne like the just the impact in my family thank you so much like that's he's gonna move on do you know what I'm saying with these skills so mm -hmm. thank you so much for everything that you do I am honored to call you an amiga, a, a, a tribe sister. Um, I'm super excited for this event to learn, to, to pick up all the gems that are being, you know, dropped. And um, thank you for being on this podcast. And thank you for sharing your journey and your skills. And really, it's really all based in love. And I truly believe that um, if you guys know me, you guys know I can't fake the funk. And so if, if I'm talking like this about someone, I, I truly, honestly believe it. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for your support and for asking me, thinking of me and believing in me. I adore you. Thank you so much. I adore you. People need to know about this shit, girl. So that's why we have you on. To spread <laughs> it. Let's spread this shit. <laughs> Gracias. And now, introducing... Supernatural Bear Corner. Supernatural Bear. Hello, everyone. I am SNB, and today for the SNB Corner, we're going to be talking about Miss Yvonne. So, to kick things off, let's start with two special facts that you may or may not have known about her. So, the first fact is that, and again, if you couldn't already know, she is part of my mom's tribe. And they talked about this, if you heard the episode, which you probably have heard, um, unless you are under the age of 18. Please do not listen if you are under 18. Um, anyway, yes, she's part of my mom's tribe. It is weekly, I believe, on Wednesdays? Yeah. On Wednesdays? <laughs> what do you know? Um, and it's very good tribe. My mom has said it is very good tribe. And um, that's how I we can get into number two. Epic music, please. Thank you. She has a meditation class every Thursday at 4.30 Pacific. We're in Pacific time, right? Yeah. She has other times, but that's the time. And multiple times, but that's the time that I go um, 4.30 Pacific on Thursdays. And it is very amazing. We are taught valuable life lessons and um, very good meditation strategies that help the quote unquote, and that's not sarcastic, I actually think that is, future world changers. Because apparently, um, well, your generation had screw up our generation. Yup, screw it up there, guys, screw it up. But anyway, very, um, fun and relaxing class would recommend 10 out of 10 um and yeah those were two facts and hope you enjoyed the episode and uh, yeah <laughs> become a patreon now but of course 
Everything is optional. We do not force things around here. Goodbye, guys. Should we do? Yeah. There you have it, folks. Word to your mom, episode 79 with e Ivan Hernandez from Decide Balance Decide Balance and uh, with her new virtual Latina uh, Moms Mindfulness Virtual Summit going down May 18th through the 21st. We'll definitely have a link to everything we discuss, especially to the Latina Mindfulness Summit. It's free. If you know, it's if it's free, it's me. But you also have the option to upgrade and get so that you get the regalitos and also you have access to all of the speakers videos forever. But the regalitos is, I think she said we're up to now maybe four thousand in value, four thousand dollars in value, including since I'm a sponsor, you get um, some digital downloads of some posters. That there's a one that says "Soy un milagro," one that says um, "I am my ancestors' vengeance," and all of those are currently available on my store now. But you get all those, and also did like a special exclusive. Decide balance one, and I won't tell you what it is. You'll have to purchase to find out. And also, if you have a child, children, classroom, you know, give them the gift of uh, meditation, bilingual meditation. Yvonne has this amazing voice, especially when you you go to her site right now, and then you can get a five minute little uh, mindful uh, meditation guided meditation for kids and you can hear her voice and you know she's she just has this like loving quality about her you know this loving vibe because that like I said she leads from that and it's great also if you're listening to this we just passed her birthday her birthday is May 15th she's a fellow Taurus you know what I'm saying so a Taurus gang gang <laughs> and um yes so we got that. Don't forget the playlist, you know, support via the store, support via patron, Patreon, support via Bias a Whiskey. Um, donate directly. There's a donate button. Also, you could just uh, another free option, as always, is uh, tell your folks, tell your peeps, tell your friends. I appreciate the support. And uh, as always, we reap. Word to Your Mama is owned and produced by Ritz P. Intro Beat, produced by Nico Beats. If you want to know more, uh, you want to email us, you want to get the media kit, go head over to wordtoyourmama.com. And as always, Word to Your Mama is brought to you by ritzperiwinkle.com.